Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today we're diving back into the world of John Carpenter 4K from this new 4K collection I picked up. Today, we're gonna take a look at The Prince of Darkness on 4K Blu-ray. So real quickly, if you didn't see my review of They Live, Prince of Darkness 4K is also coming out from Scream Factory very soon here in the beginning of 2021. What I did was I picked up an imported release, which has all the John Carpenter 4K uh, restorations on it. Prince of Darkness is on here, and it is the same exact video transfer that the Scream Factory release is going to have. The only minor difference is in audio. We'll talk about that, but this is the same exact 4K transfer. So overall, I thought that this Prince of Darkness 4K transfer was not as good as they live. That is, again, part of the, the issue with the source, but it didn't just look like the finest 4K transfer I've ever seen. So it looked pretty good overall in lighter sequences. The HDR and the Dolby Vision HDR really does help in the darker scenes and you can see in a few of these screenshots that when the screen does go black you really do get solid black levels with Dolby Vision HDR. They're black as can be and you get that nice black backdrop without any sort of uh, washing out of the picture but the grain structure and the detail is where I had the bigger issue here. The source is not the best source in the world. These movies were never intended to be you know these Panavision uh, classics something like Vertigo or Spartacus or even, you know, Jaws, um, The Shining, things like that, that obviously had a lot more uh, production, you know, quality put into them at their time of shooting. So I do think what we have here is the best looking disc that we've ever had on home media for Prince of Darkness. So things like skin tones and, you know, the bright greens that are, are very vibrant here in Prince of Darkness, that green color um, really does pop off your screen. And that's all due to Dolby Vision and the HDR. That really helps produce a higher quality overall image from a color standpoint and contrast and brightness. And you definitely see that uh, in this transfer. So that's a big upgrade. That's one reason to get this over the blue ray and then you know when the sequences um, are shot outside uh, more daylight less you know dark um, studio settings with you know no real external lighting that's something honestly John Carpenter's kind of known for is he, he uses the natural light if you look at things like Halloween and Escape from New York and then Prince of Darkness you know those movies are dark so is the fog those are very dark dark movies that don't really use a ton of artificial light he likes to play with the natural lights but what that does is it can create kind of a really dark cinematography like it, it can be a really really dark picture if you've seen Escape from New York you know what I'm talking about, um, but that's intentional. So these discs, while they're not gonna be, you know, reference quality discs that you're gonna show off, you know, your home theater with, I think they're really great for the horror fans out there. They maintain that original uh, grainy, gritty feel that John Carpenter movies have, but they also give you that nice bump in 4K resolution and Dolby Vision HDR. So, you know, while I'm complaining a little bit about the grain structure, I shouldn't, it's not a complaint because I enjoy the presentation because I think it is what it's supposed to be. I wouldn't want to see this smoothed out, cleaned up, made to look too digital. John Carpenter and his movies uh, resonate with me because they have that gritty, realistic, authentic feel. I like to see the grain. I'm here for the experience. I'm here for the horror. I'm here for the thrills. I'm here for the, you know, the jump scares and um, just the awesome story and the music that John Carpenter builds into his movies. So, you know, I'm a John Carpenter super fan, so I'm probably a little biased in these reviews, but I do think if you buy Prince of Darkness on 4K, whether you buy it overseas from one of the available releases that have been out there for a while, or you pick up this new Scream Factory release, you will be happy with the 4K. Just don't expect something to the quality of a newly released digital, sh digitally shot movie or uh, of the quality of a Hitchcock or a Kubrick or a Spielberg type movie where those are much higher production quality. Now on audio, again, with this, I am sacrificing Atmos for 5.1. I explained this in my last video. It came down to price. It came down to me wanting all of these transfers um, instead of just the two that Screen Factory is putting out. So lots of things in here. 
but the 5.1 DTS HD track that comes with this again is more than enough I think for what this movie is again not another movie that's really going to benefit from Atmos it's not Saving Private Ryan it's not Spartacus it's not Full Metal Jacket it's not Gemini Man it's not you know something that's going to really benefit from this huge sound space and it's not something that was really you know shot and had an audio mix that took Atmos into consideration. So you're really not gonna get the most out of that Atmos track. I will say that's nice of Scream Factory to include it. That is a little bonus for going with their release, but otherwise this is exactly the same. It has a 2.0 and a 5.1 DTS HD, and they're both very good. Dialogue is very clear, and John Carpenter's amazing score on all of these movies comes through loud and clear and is an excellent listening experience. As good as the, um, you know, the viewing experience is, I have a better time sometimes with his movies with the way they sound um, I could almost sit in a room a dark room put on his soundtracks and just kind of vibe out he has really cool soundtracks on all of these all four of these movies and Prince of Darkness um, is is no exception it's really really fun 5.1 is solid and I think you get all you need out of that now again here's the packaging here and on the Scream Factory release I'll put up the Prince of Darkness packaging for you to look at that is a difference maker if you like that packaging better um, and this release does not come with the extra blu-ray discs with special features if you buy these in individually overseas from the UK or from Australia or wherever you can get them with the 2k with the blu-ray disc um, included with extras um, but otherwise the extras are the same as what you got on the previous uh, blu-ray release of Prince of Darkness so again not missing anything as long as you have the Prince of Darkness Scream Factory blu-ray you can upgrade to just the 4k disc from this collection and you'll be just fine with that you're not missing out on anything so overall Studio Canal here I think has done a a, uh, a pretty good job with the source the source on all of these is going to be the the biggest issue and I'm really looking for it I'm saving escape from New York in the fog for last because those honestly are going to be the toughest to grade and review because they're really really difficult movies uh, to transfer like the darkness and escape from New York and just the the way that the movie the fog is set up like I am uh, I'm gonna sit down and really really take a hard look at those compared to the Blu-rays because those are tough movies. But Prince of Darkness and They Live, at least if you're getting the Scream Factory releases, I wanted to do these first so you knew about the 4K transfers, and they're both very good. If you upgrade, you're not going to be disappointed. The Dolby Vision HDR certainly helps, and I would recommend having a setup with that if you wanna get the most out of these releases. But everything that comes with it, it's a great transfer. Studio Canal does a great job with what they're given, um, but I do prefer They Live to Prince of Darkness, not to say Prince of Darkness is bad. I liked this movie, I liked the transfer, but They Live has a little bit more to work with. It's a little more colorful, it's a little brighter, and I just uh, thought that one popped a little bit more than Prince of Darkness. So I'm um, just comparing the two to give you some thoughts on those. We'll dive into the other two releases here um, in the next, in the, in the coming days, in the coming weeks. Um, those aren't available in the US yet, so it'll be an interesting review, but they should be coming from Scream Factory at some point because they own the rights to the fog and escape from New York as well so I would assume that those will be coming so I'll cover those for you in the US and for those of you overseas for the first time in a long time you guys actually got these before us um, over in Europe and Australia and so you probably know about these releases but maybe you've been thinking about upgrading you haven't pulled the trigger yet um, there's various places to pick these up overseas so um, I would say it's worth it you'll get a good experience and I'm very excited that we have these John Carpenter movies now fingers crossed that we can get something like The Thing um, maybe Assault on Precinct 13 maybe some of the other John Carpenter stuff uh, can start to get released here on 4k I'd love to see a full collection of his but we'll see what happens with that so overall Prince of Darkness I would give it a three and a half uh, out of five uh, I rated they live at a 375 so it's very close to they live but they live gets a little bit of a bump given that has a, a better uh, usage of the HDR and pops a little bit more so that's the review links down below again if you want to pick up this set or you can pick up the Scream Factory sets. I'll link everything I can so you have multiple options. That's the great thing about 4K, being region free. You can pick these up from 
anywhere in the world and play them on your US, UK, Australian, European, whatever you want to do. You can play them on a 4K player no matter where you buy them. So I'll include multiple links you can check out. Those help support my channel. Otherwise, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Find me on TikTok as well, which has been kind of fun to play with lately. I'm starting to build a community there. And make sure you subscribe and have your notifications on. I have some really cool 4K news coming and lots more videos coming in 2021. So I appreciate if you could subscribe and have those notifications on. Uh, that helps grow our channel and our community and physical media. And that's always awesome. So again, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.